Hi, I'm Tanner Chalet. I'll be performing two monologues, the first from The Crowd You're In With by Rebecca Gilman, and the second from Antigone by Sophocles. Look, I'm a waiter, right? These people with the kids come in, and it's one of two things. Either they bring in a whole fridge worth of food with them in these little Tupperware containers, or they bring in nothing. <coughs> Both suck equally. If they do bring in the food, it's like uh, they'll hand you a Tupperware container full of mush and ask you to warm it up for, though, uh, 36 seconds exactly. Like, you have nothing better to do. And like there's a microwave in the kitchen in the first place, which there isn't. So while they're waiting, they'll open Tupperware number two, which always has Cheerios in it. Always Cheerios. And the kids, they don't eat the Cheerios. No, they throw the Cheerios. They spread the Cheerios like seed. <clears throat> and if they do bring in the food, it's a uh, torture the other way. Hi, I'm sorry. Could we have a bowl of plain pasta with no sauce of any kind in it? Hi, oh, so sorry. Could we have a cheese pizza, but could you scrape the cheese off before you bring it out? <laughs> Hi, so sorry to bother you. Do you have a bowl of melon or diced up fruit? Oh, is that the only bowl you have? He won't eat that. Here's an idea. Next time, go to Applebee's. Uh, there's a menu there. It's for kids. It's called a kid's menu, along with a word search and a crazy maze. Here's your crayons. Go wild. Father, uh, the gods implant in mortal men reason, the choices get bestowed by heaven. Tis not for me to say thou errest, nor would I array in thy wisdom if I could. And yet wise thoughts may come to other men, and as thy son it falls to me to mark the acts, the words, the comments of the crowd. The commons stand in terror of thy frown, and dare not utter aught which might offend. But I can overhear their muttered plaints, such the low murmurings that reach my ear. Father, nothing by me is more prized than thy well-being. For what higher good can children covet than their sire's fair fortune? Same as fathers take pride in glorious sons. Therefore, my father, cling not to one mood. And deemed thou art not right, all love is wrong. For whoso thinks that wisdom dwells within him, that he alone can speak or think aright, such oracles are a empty breath when tried. The wisest man will let himself be swayed by others' wisdom and relax in time. Thank you.